In this tutorial I will show you how to correct a video that has been shot using a wide angle lens. With your pointer to the left of the screen and in the project tree, right click and left click on add clip. And then navigate to the folder where you've stored the clip that you want to use in. And then left click on the clip and then left click on open. Left click on update profile after you've selected the profile you want to use. And then drag your clip into the timeline. Also, bottom of the monitor, make sure you um, left click on project monitor otherwise you won't see what's happening. Now left click where it says effects list or effect list and then left click on the little button next to the word distort and then drag the dfish effect down and onto your video. Drag this pointer here over so you can see a suitable part of your video to give yourself some indication of how much you need to correct this video. And then with your pointer to the left hand side of the word amount in the D in the D fish um, effect drag your point, hold down your left mouse and drag your pointer to the right keeping an eye on your monitor until you're reasonably happy with the way the video looks. You can change um, certain elements of this, um, it will be set up and it will say equi area, you can flick through or stereographic but to be honest with you I prefer equal equally area. The only other thing is where it says scaling, if you left click and then left click fit, it'll just give you some indication of how much of the video is being clipped around the edges. And um seeing as mine I get a bit of ghosting in the corners using my wide angle. Um I don't really mind too much but yeah it'll give you some idea of how it works and then Obviously scaling, if you left click again and left click on fill, you'll get some idea. And then just drag your pointer over here just to see what the rest of the video looks like. I mean, most of it's done by eye. You, you know, you can uh, play around with this till you're happy by um, sliding this amount backwards and forwards. Um, that's basically how you do it. The only other thing is if you've never used Caden Live or a video editor, it's the top of the screen where it says render, left click and choose your video format, um, whatever. I'm going to select MPEG2. Um, then next to where it says output file, left click on the little folder. Um, Caden Live will always um, save the videos by default into its own folder. Um, I generally leave them there. Um, and then it where it says name, give it a title. I'm just going to call it church. Then left click OK. Then left click render to file. And in a few minutes time you should then have a video that has been corrected albeit by eye. Um, it should look a bit better than your original video. So um, that's about it. Can't say any more. So thank you for watching. Cheers.